Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So, before we get started here, I just wanted to say to you guys real quick that we now have a series of uh, Q&A videos that I'm going to be doing for the fall and the, and the winter. Um, they're going to come out on Saturday, bright and early Saturday morning. So if you guys are, are interested and want to watch those, please, please tune in and catch that series of videos. Um, we've already had two that's come out. And there'll be many, many more. So, and they're just questions that I get asked all the time, and I'm just this is my chance to answer them and give you guys a little bit more YouTube content to watch when the when the on the cold winter months here. So, but today we're going to go over kind of kind of go over how hydraulics work with your tractor. I have a lot of people ask me that, and that's really not my wheelhouse. That's more of the dock's wheelhouse. So. Today the doc and me are going to try to kind of give you a base knowledge of what's going on with the hydraulics on your tractor. some things that kind of have to do with your hydraulic system. We have a geared hydraulic pump. We have what's called the, uh, what is it again? The valve. Your, your hydraulic valve. You, that's your controls for, the, for your hydraulics. And then a cylinder. Um, I think what first we're going to start with is you might as well start at the beginning, I guess, and that is with the pump that provides your hydraulic pressure. So this is a big old gear pump out of an uh i think an old honey wagon but uh explain explain the how how the pumps work and, and that kind of stuff and what different kind of pumps there are to okay. have okay well with the gear pump you have like two gears that spline together and they when you turn them it pulls the fluid up and then it of course pumps it out um with pumps you there's Three main pumps you will probably run into, and um, how to identify that you have one of those, one of the three pumps. Like with this gear pump, you can see it, it drives, it's offset, it drives from the side. And, there's, and yeah. on, you have, of course, gear, and then you have vein and piston type pump. And a piston type pump is kind of what you find that runs your three point in your, your eight in, nine in. Two and fours, right? And John Deere used them on their on the uh, ten and twenty series. Okay. Um, and, and that's just a piston that's being pressed by one direction or the other by the hydraulic pressure by the uh, oil, right? On on those pumps, on the piston pump, it actually is a, a little group of pistons that are as it turns. There's like a, what they call a swash plate, which is a plate is kind of on an angle, and as it comes around, it pushes that piston in, and it pushes the fluid through, and that's that's basically how a piston pump works. Okay, okay. And, and then a vein pump. A vein pump. It has. It's like kind of reminds me. The middle part kind of reminds me of like like the, like a sun. Like the drawing of the sun has little fingers, and as it turns, it comes around, and it pushes. As it comes around. And they're in when you're when the, it like sits, it, yeah. And it comes around and it slowly pushes the little fingers in because it, it tapers down towards the hole, and that's how you get your pressure on those. And that pushes the oil through those little little fingers. So, and then uh, you said a gear pump is just the uh, it, it just kind of works like a, a kind of like a like a vacuum. Is that kind of kind of yeah. like a vacuum when the, when they're turning it, it, it sucks oil and then it turns and turns it out. So uh, on on that note. Most of the other two pumps that I talked that I talked about will have something like this somewhere in the system because they will not see themselves very well. And they will, will, but not well. Okay. And so, so there'll be a uh, a geared pump somewhere along that system mm -hmm. that actually gives you yeah. your your hydraulic pressure for your thing. 
Um, so I guess we move on here. Now this is um, this is the valve that mm -hmm. is used to uh, control your hydraulic pressure. Um, so how does one of these work and, and, and stuff? One of these how these work is and we'll get a closer looks, but there's little holes on this. This is a spool, is what this is called. A spool. And as you if you, well, if you push it one direction, it opens the hole and lets the fluid go through and then with because you have the spring will push pull it pull it back and then you go the opposite direction and it'll make let the, the oil go the opposite way. So and when you you're doing that it'll push the controls which way your cylinder and then I guess we get down here to uh, the cylinder. How does you know? How does you know, how does how does one of these work? And this is a pretty good sized yeah, one. Actually, I think this is a trash truck cylinder, but still. Um, yeah. How does how does one of these things work? How this this works is you got your your, your piston. There's a piston, kind of like a piston, mm -hmm. and it has. Some will have O-rings on each side, and then in between that, there's what they call packing, which is little rings that help help um, the O-rings not let the oil pass. And then when you, of course, you open this up, it pushes oil into one side or into the other side. And then that's these points here, like on this here, and, and, then, and then there's, there's one, uh, one here that's just got yeah. a plug in it. So, and then that then the, that drives your ram mm -hmm. here, which is your shaft right here. So, I can't get that to come up, but it's, it's, I think it's, but it pulls, pulls, it pushes this up and down, and then that's what controls, raises and lowers your piece of equipment. Yeah. So one thing I, I like to touch on with cylinders, there's some of the older equipment. In fact, I, I think the one tractor I ran into it on recently is I worked on a neighbor's tractor for him. And he had uh, the big Alice he oh. has, and his the cylinder, 190 Alice. the 190 he has, I think it's the, I'm not sure what, yeah. but he has, had me come look at it because it would raise, but it wouldn't lower. And the reason it wouldn't lower is because it has what they call a one-way cylinder. Okay. And a one-way cylinder, instead of having a line on each end to drive it, it has a line on one end and it pushes it out. And then the other end is just like a little filter type thing, and it uses gravity to push it back in. Okay. Um, and what was going on with Howard's tractor? Howard didn't realize that was what was going on. So that's why it was just had to be gravity it down. Gravity well, gravity the eight down. and nine and Fords are gravity down, and so is that. Uh, so is that. Um, yeah. That three hundred utility, right? Yeah. Those, so your older tractors, majority of the time, you're going to find gravity down. You're not going to have pressure either, yeah. right? We're, we're, I know a lot of people ask, well, do I, will I have, do I have ground pressure on my three point? And the majority of old tractors, is that not? Some, some will. Actually, I'm, I think we may have misspoke a little on the, the 300. I think that 300 is one of the later ones, and it does have um, two-way cylinders for that. Okay. Um, yeah. So. And then, then what are some of the things maintenance-wise people should look at, you know, on, on their further three-point or further hydraulic systems that on their tractors um, that you would recommend things that you should do so often. I know, I know a lot of you guys need to pay a lot of attention if your lines are getting, if your hydraulic hoses are getting cracked and that the rubber's peeling out and you you can see the the metal winding because uh, they're all they're kind of like a kind of like a steel belt tire they have a a, a a steel mash inside those if you can see that it's time to replace that line because that line's going to blow and it's going to blow under pressure isn't it Dan and you're going to have a heck of a mess or you're going to end up hurting yourself so and we we have had plenty of hydraulic lines blow and uh, and had cleaned up some pretty nice messes. Yeah, for sure, haven't we? So I, I when I was going through school, we we had one that blew, and the teacher took a piece of paper and ran it through that that stream, and it cut that paper like it was like, like, like a, a sharp knife. Like a sharp knife. 
And so, yeah, kind of remember that, you know, because if that hydraulic hose blows under extreme pressure, pressure, you are going to get hurt. If it hits you direct on, you are going to get hurt. And so do the proper maintenance to keep that from happening. Change out those hoses. They're not that expensive. Most of the time, you're going to spend at the most 100 bucks replacing some of the longer hoses. And most places like uh, bumper to bumper or your uh, auto supply places will make hydraulic lines. And so if you need a special line made, it, it can be done for you. Well, see some of your, like we have a place in, over at Hutch, um, the hydraulic store over mm -hmm. there, you can find the hydraulic store, they, they will be they will able to make them for you. If you have any issues, they should be able to help you with a lot of your hydraulic problems. Yeah. So, but I think that kind of covers the base that you wanted to cover and just kind of answer so. some of the questions that have been asked of me. Um, later on, Dan will probably go a little bit more in depth into how each and every pump works. Um, and stuff, but this was just kind of a brush over, just kind of give you guys some ideas. I know a lot of you have asked, so, but, uh, you know, thanks, thanks for, you know, tuning in. Um, if you want to uh, follow us on social media, you can go to uh, Facebook, or you can, and you can follow us at Omega Ag, and you can see what's on the lot, or you can go to Instagram. And you can, and we'll be posting pictures of tractors and stuff that I've come across there. Also, you can go to Facebook and find us at Crazy D's Equipment, and there'll be whatever Dan's working on or whatever we're working on. I'll have pictures there, plus pictures going way back. But uh, and, and and the most important thing, guys, remember to subscribe, remember to hit like, and hit that bell in icon, and so you know when the next videos come up. And thank you guys once again for coming to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment.